I can African. I can Kenya. <laughs> Yo guys, what's up? It's your boy Harry coming through once again. So these are the streets of Johannesburg, the central business district, bustling with business and everyone here is an entrepreneur. And uh, one of the major commodities or one of the major things being sold here is a uh, complexion cream or skin lightening agents. So today I'll just try to um, separate facts from fiction over here. For those of you who don't know what this is all about and yeah let's dive into it and just see what's up so over here we've got some creams of all types and all kinds as you can see there is demo gel appetito is not actually a cream um basic basically tablets that you take to get appetite if you're hungry you know sorry i've got hiccups and i sound terrible i know Lemon vet, betazol, everything here. So for those of you who don't know, complexion creams are basically creams or lotions that one can apply on their skin to become lighter, you know. So now, these are not only used by black people, you know, all kinds of people use it, you know. Um, your Asian people use it, um, you know, namely like Pakistani people, Indian people as well. Uh, even Philippine people, I actually met someone a guy a guy from the philippines who was using complexion creams then of course uh black people as well you know so it's all about getting lighter and not everyone who uses it wants to become white or hates their skin it's just a way of you know improving themselves if you will so i'm not sure what you guys think about it though and uh yeah i mean uh, obviously there are some things to avoid some of them are quite strong stronger than others and some of them should not be mixed together and uh, the real use for them were actually um, medical reasons some of them are actually sold in pharmacies for people with uh, intense skin uh, conditions like people who have um, itching or rash or some kind of blemish or pimples you know these are things that uh, the pharmacists usually treats through these creams but of course people use them for all kinds of reasons so yeah let's see. What we do here is go back, back. all right so let's get into the thick of things so first of all some of them come in forms of uh, a serum others come in a form of a cream others come in a form of a lotion or some type of liquid and so forth so they're not all the same and uh, each used for different uh, conditions or they use for different reasons and of course some of the products are stronger than the others for example we get some products like the diprozone uh, lemon vates movates which are much more stronger than something like um, an extra clear let's say and uh, some of them do have very long scientific names but you know who wants to get into that nobody so yeah we just i'm just gonna explain a few for example like a diprozone what does it do it fights uh, in itchy skin if you have rash if you have some inflammatory going on there and yes and um uh one should probably stop using it after about uh, four weeks or so should only be used for like a month maybe you should take a break um yeah apparently that's what they say and it's used about twice a day and then you get some other ones like a lemon bait cream where one to just apply to the affected area um when it like before going to bed you know for example if you have some blemishes on your skin you just use it with your fingertips and just put it so there's no need to put it on your whole face with the palm of your hands and whatnot so this basically is just like uh, self medicating you know and you can get some of this over the counter and of course some of these creams are illegal in some countries in a lot of countries because they do contain some banned substances which are believed to be uh, dangerous for some people for example if your skin is very sensitive wouldn't be a good idea to use some of these uh, skin lightening agents or apparently as well if you're pregnant as well you know so pregnant ladies should not be using this stuff as well 
So over here there is a list, uh, this is a, just a few pictures of some of the complexion creams that are out there that people use and uh, you know keep in mind that some of them actually do work. You see a lot of people with beautiful skin right on the streets. I hate it when people say things like this will cause you cancer and make you look all weird and funny and things like that. Of course, if you abuse the stuff, if you don't know how to use it, if you expose yourself to sun rays and so forth. But anyways, yeah, we've got things like top cream over here, Diprozone, Movet. This is actually BioClay, very nice as well. This is Carotone Lotion. I've got a BioClay Lotion. Uh, looks like Diprozone Lotion, Betazole Lotion. You know, there's a Carolite, Carolite once again, Carolite. And uh, this one here is Dematol. Dematol actually is not a complexion cream, uh, but I just thought I should throw this one in there. It actually works for um, itchy skin, um inflammatory skin uh after bump i mean sorry after <laughs> after shave bumps uh, rash and it also promotes hair growth so a lot of people use it as hair food so in case uh, you're wondering whether or not you should buy dematol yes you should get it it's quite good uh this is a serum over here serum used uh, slightly different to the others so my word of advice is this make sure you know what you are buying and how to use it it's kind of similar to like um sex i know oh, hold up hold up you're probably thinking how so think about it some schools actually provide students with condoms the government is high on um uh protected sex and so forth because they know they cannot stop people from having sex so you might as well do it in a safe manner and protect yourselves and others so basically that's what i think as well that's my take on the whole thing tell me what you think about complexion creams uh hit me up on my instagram at kasongo harry and uh yeah and then we can talk about it as well hit me up over here do you use complexion creams do you know people who do how much are they what are your experiences cheers oh before i forget guys here are some pictures of some people who use complexion creams the befores and after let me know what you think uh one of them is actually a south african um quite to sing i'm sure sir i don't know i thought she was beautiful before she still looks okay afterwards although she looks like a skinned chicken i don't know <laughs> cheers